Our next speaker is uh, uh, CEO and Chairman of the World Academy of Arts and Sciences. And uh, in addition to that, but I would say not only in addition to that, Gary Jacobs is a unique American citizen who has devoted his life to help mothers in India and has lived almost all his life in India. I'm honored to invite Gary to the podium. Thank you, Alexander. As I listened to President Gorbachev and other speakers this morning, I felt deeply grateful for having grown up and been present at one of the great creative moments in history during the 80s and early 90s when we saw the world so radically transformed. One of the characteristics of great creative moments is that they're rarely seen and recognized until they're already over. That it's a rare individual who can perceive the possibility of a radical revolutionary change until it's already happened. And to, to believe enough in it to work for it. I was thrilled when I heard him say, in my own words, that we are, he sees, we are at such a moment today. We have that possibility today. And as in the past, it's very difficult to see how much could be accomplished, how quickly, until after it's done. I listened as an American, as well as a human being, to all that he said and others have said this morning. As an American, I reflect back, last week we're celebrating the 50th anniversary of Martin Luther King's famous speech, I have a dream. There's another great leader who saw a possibility, believed in it, when most people didn't, and made it happen. 161 years ago, another American, Abraham Lincoln, believed in such a dream. At a time we look back on the American Civil War as such an absurd thing that human beings actually had to fight to uh, decide to give up slavery, that it's very difficult in historical perspective to realize how difficult it was and how narrowly we crossed the line and, su and he succeeded in doing it, and how close the U.S. was of breaking up entirely and would never exist today if it hadn't been for that great visionary leadership of one man who believed and had a dream and made it happen. All of these great creative moments have something in common. They've all been founded not just on a practical vision of what is imminently possible or necessary, but on a high commitment to achieving values that look to be utopian dreams. Abraham Lincoln firmly believed that without freedom and equality for all Americans, the country could not survive. Unity could not be maintained. And I believe he was right. We, would never, we wouldn't have the United States of America today if he hadn't acted as he did. Martin Luther King was certainly right 50 years ago that we could not stand up before the nations of the world as long as uh, this gross inequality and prejudice was allowed to exist. President Gorbachev was equally right that the real solution to world peace is that we all must be free and we all must work united. And I think today we are at such a creative moment. I hope that uh, the response that I felt and so many of you expressed after his speech indicates the truth of that. That what looks to be very distant, which looks to be very difficult, 
can in fact be achieved in a very short period of time. One of the other characteristics of great creative moments is they require great leadership. And in the past, our great leaders have been tended to be lone individuals standing up with some people to support them. But I think today the times are different. I think today an organization, organizations can play that role when they are committed and inspired with the same vision and values that our great leaders have been in the past. And I believe that Green Cross International is one such organization. On behalf of the World Academy of Art and Science, which was founded by some great intellectuals 50 years ago who wanted this better world, it's a great privilege for us to be associated with Green Cross. We are committed to supporting and being partners with you, and we look forward to working with you to make this a great creative moment. Thank you.